Strength of Love. April 11, 2015. Each of you has so much strength. Your strength, dear ones, can be directed to anything you put your mind, heart, and soul to. Your strength truly knows no bounds when you are filled with divine enthusiasm to fulfill something that means a lot to you, or to overcome a great challenge. When you make use of your strength with objectivity, it becomes your greatest weapon against any challenge you may come to face, as it will also bear your highest of intentions. When you reach deep inside yourself for that power you have to get things done, the power that aids you to overcome your difficulties, you are also met by courage, endurance, tolerance, and perseverance, just to name a few, and they help to build on this powerful inner force that you need at times to carry you through the most difficult passages of your journey. It is your strength dear ones that reinforces your belief in your own abilities so you may succeed your tasks that you have yet to fulfill and move beyond life's many challenges. Strength reinforces the depth of your love and the energy used to meet those challenges when you feel weak. It is in each of you and truly is one of the greatest powers that exists. We hear often how tiring it is to be strong. So many sighs are expressed from the people's lips when they realize they have another obstacle to overcome or another challenge to face or a goal to fulfill that has become tedious. Quitting and giving up is not a natural part of who you are. You only give up after you exhaust every avenue, but until then you keep trying, you keep moving on, you continue to progress, to learn, and you are growing in every step you take. Sometimes it may feel you are going at a snail's pace, but there is nothing wrong going slow. Enjoy the scenery as you go, don't rush what you are working through. Believe in yourself, believe that you have the power and the strength to overcome anything life has to offer. Just look at all you have accomplished thus far. Wow, is right. You are your own champion. It is great to look up to others, to find encouragement and inspiration from what others around you are doing. But it is important dear ones to build up your own foundation of inspiration and encouragement, to be the slayer of all your inner demons, and to face your self-doubts and self-loathing with courage, strength, and great love. Your self-doubt tells you things trying to make you believe in negative notions about yourself and how limited you are. It is time dear ones to embrace your true self, see the strong person that you truly are and tell your self-doubting, self-loathing self that you are not those negative ideals. Tell yourself that you are not here by accident and that you have purpose. True, your purpose may not be known to you all at once, for it is revealed to you as you go, but you must believe with all your heart that you are here for a special reason, to fulfill a purpose that is meant just for you. Someone else's purpose is no greater than yours, so don't start comparing. When you begin to doubt yourself, remind yourself that you are not here alone. You are in the company of God with every step you take of every minute of every day. He is there even if you cannot see Him or feel Him, just knowing that He is there is your comfort. Imagine yourself being wrapped by a warm blanket that covers all of you. It is warm and flowing, not suffocating, but comforting and safe feeling. That is God wrapping you up in His love. Lean into His arms, allow His almighty love and light seep into every pore and every cell of your being, reminding you that the light in your heart that fills the place you call home is also filled with His omnipresence. Never forget dear ones that each of you are filled with a most wonderful potential the potential to grow, to become and to experience what this world has to offer, even if that means facing unpredictable trials and tribulations. You will know love and hate, good and evil, you will meet greed and generosity, and so much more. And you will choose from your heart what it is you want from life and creatively devise plans that will take you there. This is all in you dear ones, and your strength, this inner great power will help carry you over your hurdles and help guide you to where you need to be. You, dear ones, just need to believe with all of your heart, mind and soul that yes you can. At every moment you are given the opportunity, which is also a responsibility to choose what is to come next. It is up to you dear ones to fill your life with joy, love, hate or unpleasantness. When your heart opens and expands by God's loving presence and from believing in yourself, 
you reveal to the world the glorious rainbows that have been ignored and prevented to shine. Let your inner rainbows come forth, allow them to cleanse your inner person so you may rise from your emotional hurts, feelings of guilt or shame, or disappointment and anger, and reveal the pure self that God loves and adores. Be gentle with yourself dear ones. Stop treating yourself so harshly with negative self-talk and criticism and give yourself the compassion and tolerance that is richly needed. Embrace your whole self including all your burdens and shortcomings and see that these have been nothing more than lessons for you to learn and to grow from. When your inner cup is full of self-love, then it becomes easier to share your love and light with others and to help fill their inner cup. When you truly love yourself, you can then truly love others. Regardless where your journey takes you, never forget that you are a loved son or daughter of God and that you are worthy of love. Not only are you worthy to give love, but you are also worthy to receive love. There are many dear souls now that love you and accept you with all your imperfections, just as you are. Open your heart, see from this place of love what you may have missed, and realize that the love you have for yourself is so essential to the kind of life you want to live. Don't be shy. Come home to your own love, you have overcome so much, don't you think you owe it to yourself to love who you are, as we already love you? The strength of your love will always be your greatest healer and will be the greatest guide on this incredible journey. And so it is. I am Archangel Chamuel through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com